So growing up, um, he, he, here's what that looked like for me. Um, when I sat in school growing up and learned about the history of the United States of America, I, I opened up our books, I had to write reports. Uh, I saw in those books and read the stories of and wrote reports on people who looked like me. And then when I turned on the television, uh, by and large, at any moment in time, when I turned on the television, what I saw was people who looked like me. Uh, and then when I got magazines, or when I got books, or when I played with toys, or what, what I saw repeatedly were people that, that looked like me. At, at almost any given moment, I was surrounded by people who looked almost just like me. And so really, the, the entire experience uh, of my life has been one of, I. I can easily find people that look like me. Almost all my understanding of what made America great is because of efforts and, and the work ethic of people like me. And I'm, I come from a, a, a lower class um, Anglo family. And, and so my story is kind of the American dream, pulled myself up by my bootstraps, right? Worked hard, learned to work hard from my daddy, um, yada, 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 right? I, I could go on and on there. But, but what happens in, in that kind of upbringing, which, which is fine, is that there were some lenses put over my eyes in, in which I saw the world through those lenses, um, not knowing what those lenses are. And, and so if I could kind of just be straight at what I'm talking about is, is that I, I have grown up with this invisible kind of bag of privilege, this